last session, wasn't it? Yep. And how long yeah. does uh, Tasha's Hideous... It's Tasha's, right? No, it's not yeah, Tasha's. Just... It's just called Hideous. Sorry, it's D&D. Copyright, I don't want to be sued. But... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it's, a great, it's a great spell because even if they get a success, but not a critical success, it takes away the reactions for a full minute. Oh, that that's beautiful. Oh, Doug is in chat. He said, sorry, guys, something came up that I had to work on. So it's no problem, man. No problem, Doug. We'll kill your character. It's all right. <laughs> well, <laughs> as I get my pink, sleep via, pink slip via email in about another five minutes. <laughs> all right. So uh, let's see. Let's go with the, the creature here. This large creature. So yeah, Emu's right there. Emu's done quite a bit of damage to him. So it. Why don't you cast haste on my creatures? I mean, come on, dude. So let's go ahead and do a jaw attack on Emu. Ooh, wow! A twenty-two's a miss. A, he rolls a two and gets a twenty-two. That's just oh. insane. He's gonna use his reaction. <clears throat> To give himself plus two AC on this next attack. Let me see okay. where that is. Nimble dodge. And I am going to do a second attack that will. He's also going to. Hmm, I would say let's go ahead and claw at minus five. That's a hit with a 27 and a multi attack penalty. Uh, there's no damage mitigation in that. It's just two to AC, if I'm not mistaken, right? Yep. So Emu will take uh, 13 damage, and then with its third with a multi attack, it's going to try to hit Omi with its tail, which has plenty of reach to hit you from where it's at. And that is going to be a miss as the one just bolt rolls over to the seven. That's it. Wow, that is like disappointing with that creature plus 20 to hit and he only hit once all right so the flat tooth oh yeah so that is uh successful so the persistent damage should come off now right because of the successful crit or is that just going to be that's from justin beaver right no i don't i'm not sure who put that on there hmm is that maybe from Tasha's also? No, unless Emu has some poison, but I don't see oh, anything. Oh, never mind. Mm -hmm. uh, last week I had put the poison from my tail toxin on it. Oh, right oh that's right. Yeah. yeah, that's right. And so that will take that off of the 20, right? Or what is the DC for it? Because it's a flat check. It should be yeah, DC 15, so it should take that, that persistent 5 poison off. Because it says, I'll, I'll look that up when it, um, yeah, I'll look that up. Okay. So I thought it might be a fortitude save at the end of their turn for whatever the DC is for the poison. Okay. Yeah, it's showing us persistent damage on Kruth for a flat check for five poison DC of 15. So, yeah, if you want to look that up, Omi, you can go ahead and go with you and Omi. Yeah, you guys did a lot of damage to that thing last time. It's in bad shape. This thing is kind of staggering around and whatnot. Joe going to his treasure trove of books over there. Let's see. I think... So Omi does, uh, <laughs> Omi's going to cast a second level magic missile. Or, uh, okay. Or just, uh, there's, uh, there's just a regular magic missile, I think. Wow, has Omi hit ever cast magic missile? I don't think he has. Maybe once or twice? Not very often. I think I did it once before, but I think we want to try to punch some damage into this thing. Try to not give it another turn. All right. So your right. missiles stream out, doing a total of eight. And then that's a two-action magic missile because I inspired courage. And then Justin Beaver is going to try to take a bite at it. All right, take a bite. Take a bite out of crime. McGruff the crime dog. I remember that was when I was a kid. 
All right. So Emu Emu's up. You probably remember that one, Diane. We're about the we're same age for now. I much. know. I, I thought the same thought as soon as you said it. <laughs> and this cheesy Saturday morning propaganda. Yeah. What do, do I, I don't, are there even Saturday morning cartoons anymore? Uh, I, I don't know. I don't know. All right. So yes, the creature dies as it slumps nice. down onto the, yeah, onto the floor. Saturday cartoons when Saved by the Bell came on. Oh, Saved by the Bell. That just came back on that? again. Like the cartoons and then about 11, maybe. Uh, uh, Saved by the Bell would come on. Yeah. I remember it was like uh, the Dungeons and Dragons commercial, Bugs Bunny, Tom and Jerry. Uh, let's see what else was okay. there. Oh. I remember as a kid on Saturday, it was like a... Uh, Bugs Bunny and then Tom and Jerry and then like Dungeons and Dragons would come on and oh, what else? Oh, Ninja Turtles. That was big too and Transformers. Yeah, and before that I remember like Super Friends. So oh, yeah. That's all I am. And, I and then that, and then at night on Saturday night it was like Hee Haw and then Miami Vice and then like right, Benny uh, Hill. Oh, it was crazy. Yeah, I was searching. Right. And I looked it up. Uh, the poison says persistent damage and persistent damage is DC 15, like you were saying. Okay. All right. Very good. So, so the, it was, the effect was actually, uh, sorry about that. So the, uh, it was parsed out correctly then. All right. Okay, cool. I'm just going to leave my mic open all the time so you guys can hear me. Uh, so yeah, the the creature it just uh, collapses to the ground. You know, this dust, small little dust cloud stirs, and uh, you guys feel free to uh, look around. I've I've taken off a token lock for you as well. I did a perception check in the tower, looking around. Okay, uh, you don't see anything that catches your eye, just you know, with your perception cursor glance and stuff. Should we uh, back out a ways and find a safe spot to settle down? Because it looks like some of us are some are pretty beat up. I agree. <laughs> yeah, George, George's got some wounds. Justin's got wounds. Omi's got wounds. Yeah, I think did quite a bit. Just think if there were two of those, that might have been lights out. But that would have been it. Would have been impossible because of just the size of the creature. Sometimes I, I wonder if. If the the authors of these adventures take the maps into consideration when they're generating their encounters and stuff, it would have been cool to have a couple of these in a medium size. That's what I should have did. I should have modified it, but uh, that's, you guys want that's to go too up. much work. You guys want to go up to the guards again and hang out for a little while while we patch up? That sounds like a good idea to me. Yeah, let's do it. All right. Yeah, you guys can get back up into the, you know, the chamber here where, you know, the sanctuary where this uh, podium was, and you can get the, the doors closed and whatnot. Uh, Omi will, I imagine we'll spend about an hour here. Omi will do uh, six medicine skill rolls. Okay. With the assurance feet, so I don't have to roll to okay. roll for the medicine Let's go. You know that. Uh, speaking of that, that creature, his name was its name was well, it's called a Kruth. And every time I did an attack, and you can go ahead and do your nice rolls there. Every time that I was doing an attack with its jaw, if it hit you, it would in break off one of its tooth, and it would embed inside of you, and you had to do like this crazy dc 26 med check to get the tooth out but when you t when you did that it would actually increase the ongoing damage from like a d6 ongoing bleeding damage to like a 
two d six bleeding damage. Oh, that would that would, and it didn't stop the bleeding when you pull it. It just made it worse. So that I was like, man, I keep missing on these. Uh, I think we'll extend it to an hour and a half. Uh, all right, let's, any encounter roll or anything in there? Yeah, I, I'll do a a roll in the tower. <laughs> I always do an encounter on an 18, 19, 20. I just rolled a 17. <laughs> so as you guys are, are resting up, you could hear some screams off in the in the far distance, some shrieks, some, you know, some, some you know, scratching on the, you know, walls and stuff, but no encounter. It was close, but no cigar. Did we check that, uh, pink or purplish pool to the south you mean um, when you first entered the first entered the temple no you never you guys went north you guys saw the pool and i remember you were saying oh yeah there's a pool but then you guys went north and then ran into creatures and stuff remember they kind of came around the corner at the same time you guys met but no you it. Yeah, you have not found the... You have not looked at the pool yet. You want to check it out now, or you want to check these doors first? Yeah, there's some double doors down here uh, where you are at. Uh, there's uh, double doors to the west of the corridor, and then there's also a couple individual doors that are on the southern wall also. The, the two doors, they look to be the same type of door. Wool or doors? What do you think, guys? Up to you, adventurers. Well, nothing's come behind us so far. Nobody's given you the old back door yet, Joe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Almost, I was one off from giving you the old back door. Well, maybe we should check it after hearing that. <laughs> oh, it's up to you guys. I'm just. I'm just having fun with you. Yeah, we'll go take a look at the pool. I'm not going by myself. I'll wait till the rest of you guys get up there. You're not gonna, not gonna split the party like, uh, like Derek did. I'll move him in for you guys. I know how uh, Dave is. Token lock pops up magically. Oh, oh, that's just like a, that's like a gimme indicator. You know what I mean? That. The S is about to hit the fan, you know? You want to check it for magic, Zero? Yeah. Uh, get me in there. Yeah, so let me really quickly, let me give you guys a little uh, description of the room. So when you when you enter this, this small room, it's probably about, it's like 25 by 20. And the walls in here are smooth marble. And this pool... It's filled with like a, as you kind of look into it, it's like a purplish sludge and sludge is sort of like spilled and kind of wrapping around. So it's not like, it's like a real thick sludge and it's kind of over the edges and stuff kind of hanging down. And in the middle of the pool, there's a, there's a golden statue of a winged eye that rises from the center of the pool. And you guys have already uh, previously before you actually came into the Moonstone Hall, you guys can recognize this winged eye as the symbol of Aridin, basically. And uh, there's all kinds of, you know, dripping sludge coming from the eye. And it just is a very noxious looking type of, of uh, substance. And then on the walls, there's also more sludge on the walls and stuff, even though it, this is a beautiful room if it was just cleaned up, basically. And there's some there's some faded mosaics on the wall, and you really can't tell what they are because they've been disfigured with all kinds of, you know, just like what these Olgaths had done in the main worship chamber where they, you know, painted over all the, the aired and stuff and everything on those walls as well. So... Yes, all of these mosaics have been disfigured with like all kinds of, you, you would assume Zolgath, you know, where they are, you know, basically just 
destroying and putting whatever they want on it. You know, with all kinds of mud, the sludge that's in the pool, dried blood, etc. And I have an image to show you to kind of set the mood a little bit. So this is what the symbol looks like. And you can see, you know, that sludge is just everywhere. Now, I, I know that uh, uh, you wanted to do a check zero. What kind of check yeah. do you want to do? Arcana, I would imagine? Yeah, I want to do that. Sure. I just know, you know, guys, if you see this sludge, it's probably, it's probably uh, haunted. It's, it's, it's like ghosts. Mm -hmm. I'm just shooting, you know, I'm just shooting. I ain't afraid of no ghost. Exactly what I was thinking. Another 80s reference, I love it. Because, you know, sludge and ghosts, they go is, hand in hand. So, is yeah, there I'm another do Ghostbusters hand. coming out, I think, this year? Isn't there? Yeah, there's a new one. Oh, yeah, okay. You want to do a tower? I'm going to do a tower. Yeah, you just do it open if you want, or in the tower. It doesn't matter. Oh, wow. Uh, 33. That's a pretty, yeah, 20 plus 13.